Yo, what's up guys? Gonna do some sight fishing today. How's my hair besides receding? Ha! <laughs> Cry inside. Anyway, gonna do some sight fishing today with my Markham Pursuit HD. Uh, I did shoot a video here the other day. Got some crappies, got a couple bluegills. Um, didn't make it out here quite as early as I wanted to. Um, so what I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna try to sight fish some big bluegills. Like we can hit nine inches. That'd be great. Um, also, you guys, I never, you know, I'm going to start saying this at the of my videos. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Like, I'm looking at my viewers, and like 77% of my views come from not subscribed people, and 23% come from subscribers. I appreciate all the views regardless, but please drop a sub. Get those subscribers up there. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, just fishing. There's, there's a weed area here. And I'm gonna drill on top of the weeds, drop the camera down, um, try and find these fish. They're gonna be either on the edge of these weeds or right on the transition. It transitions from weeds right to a soft bottom in this basin. And that's where you can find those fish as long as those weeds are green. Um, you'll often find them right there. Anyway, I'm gonna start drilling some holes. Get her going. If you guys seeing this, we're catching stuff. Let's do it. Okay, try this again. We've actually moved here a little bit out to the edge of the weed line here. I'm guessing when I get this down, the fish are going to show me where my bait is. I'm hoping, anyway. Okay, now we got fish. Now we got fish. That's what I was looking for. Look at all those fish. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh, I missed them. Look at all these largies. Got him. Big old large mouth, you guys. <laughs> He's gonna mess up my camera, probably. <sighs> oh. No, he's going the wrong way. He's gonna get in my camera. I know he is. Oh, come on, dude. Yep, he already hit the camera cord. Yep, he's in it. Oh, and there's a big bluegill. Come on up. Maybe he didn't get caught in it. Nope. Here he comes. There we go, you guys. Nice large mouth. <laughs> Look at that. Right in the tip of the nose, too. <laughs> nice large mouth, you guys. That was pretty sweet. I'll turn my heat down a little bit. That was freaking awesome. Well, I'm gonna try something here. Got my ripper, so the bottom of it and the bottom of my sled. Try the tail off this ripper. This is gonna be some serious microsurgery here, you guys. Don't even know if this is possible. Oh, well, it looks like it is because we tried it and we got it done. Oh, it's gonna be dumb. What a horrible idea. Those are sometimes the best ideas, though. These fish just roam so much, you just gotta wait to come back through. It's horrible. I'm just sitting here looking. See them all off in the distance there? Whole freaking school of bass. Sunfish and crappies mixed in. And then there's the me all by myself. Mm, uh, there's one fish looking. Come on. He's actually cruising pretty good.
Got him. Bluegill. He hit that little tiny tail, you guys. Guess. Oh, there he is right there. I could grab him. Should I? Should I try? <laughs> oh. oh, well. You guys saw him. That was good enough for me. Huh. I dropped down to this very tiny ripper tail. It's almost like they like the small profile. They just don't want to mess around uh, with anything big at all. You know? That's what I get. That's a big bluegill. Big. Got him. Big bluegill, you guys. This thing looked like a freaking tank. It's gonna look like a freaking tank. I'm not even kidding you guys. Yeah, it is. It's a big blue guy. It's a freaking monster. Look at that guy. A freaking monster. Holy crap. Where's my bump board at? Enter that one in my tournament quick. Alright, we're gonna let this guy go. Nine and a half inches long. Sorry, you guys. Oh, that was pretty freaking sweet, you guys. So I think the problem is I got the right bait. I just... You got to have these fish come through, you guys. It's going to be a... It's going to be interesting trying to... Got him. Got him. Looked like a nice one, too, you guys. Yeah, it is. It's a nice big, nice big hen. Nice big hen. You can tell plain as day when they come up to that bait what they're going to be. It's a nice bluegill. I'll bet that's close to nine inches. We're going to take a look. We're going to take a look quick on the board. I bet it's close to nine. I bet she's close to nine, I should say. Um, we're not going to find out because it just disappeared. That was dumb. <laughs> I ate that. Let's call it nine. Nope, done lost interest just like that. Oh, here comes another fish off in the distance. Fish is so freaking finicky, you guys. It's just... Missed him. Got him. Ha. Second time's a charm. Second time's a charm. Nice gill, too. Gills and sleek are chunky, and they're just kind of wild-colored. Yeah, they're like an like a amber, purplish, goldish, reddish purple gold. Come on, dude. Oh, get back in that hole. No, keep going. Keep going. Oh, fine. Go in that hole, then. There we go. Hey. That's awesome. One more fish. Oh, come on. Come on, it's a big fish. Got a big bluegill, you guys. This thing looked like a freaking tank. Oh, big female. Big old hen. Come in and just suck that bait in. This looked like a freaking tank. Like a 10 inch is what it looked like. Oh, oh boy. Monster. It is a, it's a huge bluegill though, you guys. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. That's got to be nine and a half inches, I'll, I'll bet. Oh no, my little. Oh well, I'll get another ripper tail. Look at the size of that freaking toad. Oh, da. Big, big, big. Oh, 
That was another big bluegill. This one's got it's got to be nine and a half. Over at nine. Well, it's about almost nine and three quarter, you guys. Okay, see that? That's a freaking tanker. All right, nine and three quarter. We're gonna let him go. Well, I'm running out of propane here, guys. Um, on my little portable, my one pounders. It's you know, these one this one pound shortage is kind of a pain. I know you can refill them. I know that, but it's nice, you know, having this little portable buddy heater in my otter. You know, this thing keeps this thing so warm, and it's perfect. It's, I don't know, I think it's like negative 40-some below right now at the wind chill. Anyway, got her done. Yo, Mark and Pursuit HD. Got her done. Um, biggest bluegill we caught with the tail pinched was 9 and 3 quarter, which is a big bluegill. I think we caught a couple 9 and a halfs, caught a large mouth. We didn't catch any crappies. We saw some crappies. I think they're more of a morning bite, to be honest with you guys. But started out on some weeds um, and then I saw the fish were, were mostly transitioned out to right on that weed edge so we made a move here ended up catching some nice bluegills and everything just worked out you guys um, yeah so obviously my my main rod here was my tuned up custom rods precision noodle also you guys this inline reel I don't like inlines I always talk about it but it's growing on me still it takes a line twist out of your jig. I think, ooh, what was that? I think that was very important to be perfectly honest with you guys. Because when I put down my other rod, that you'd see that jig spinning. So if the fish were finicky at all, they didn't want to see any jig spinning. Um, let's see if I can get my jig in there. There's my jig. Little uh, three millimeter made by Alex or Panfish Pirates. That is the tail off of a ripper. Okay, that's also from Alex or Panfish Pirates. I'll have his stuff down, the link down there. Um, very important you guys have a nice a nice rod that you can get a subtle jig off of the old precision noodle 36 inch always gets it done I'm not sure if I got I think I got five pound frost in this rod so anyway yeah mark suit HD in my otter hideout um, all the links to this stuff is gonna be down below um, also have the, the link down here obviously for my mark and pursuit HD Anyway, you guys, it's been super cold out. I'm sorry I'm not hammering out videos. I can't hammer out trapping videos just because it is so cold out. Um, I plan on doing some ice camping stuff because big, like, fish season closes here in, I don't know, like three weeks? Two weeks? Something like that. So I'm going to have to transition to nothing but pan fish, which is pretty much what I've been doing anyway, but I want to do some pike stuff also. Headed to Devil's Lake. This week for six days, gonna do some walleye perch, pike, well hopefully perch, they're tough to find out there. Anyway you guys, planning on doing some, you know, more trapping, more towards late ice here. I'm gonna try to do a like a trapping slash camping um, survival video. I'm gonna camp on the lake. I'm gonna set some beaver traps on a lodge on the lake. I'm also gonna stay in my fish house on the lake because the lake has fish in it. I'm gonna eat whatever I can catch and send them to stay the night one or two times i think it'll be fun i've never tried it before picked up all the stuff for it so look for those videos coming up i'm trying to upload every wednesday and saturday still so anyway you guys thanks for watching please like share subscribe